What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, and I'm back with another CHH today. And guys, I want to kind of break down Philip, the founder of Rapzilla. He has some things to talk about, and I want to kind of discuss them kind of bit by bit. He said a whole lot. Uh, if you don't know, Phil put out a video. It was about 20 minutes long last week and it had Christian Hill Pop buzzing. But today I want to take a snippet of what he said and kind of break that down. In the next couple of days, I want to break down what exactly what he said because I think it's very key and very important to actually listen to what he said and actually come with our own opinion. So the first question I want to ask is a, a is Rapazilla a monopoly and B is there not other great content creators in CHH that can move the culture forward? So we're going to listen to Phil from Rapzilla, where he's the founder of Rapzilla. We're going to listen to him. Then we'll come back and we're going to talk about exactly what my thoughts about what he just said. So here go Phil. You know, right now Rapzilla is a monopoly. That's not a bad thing. It's a great thing because I made it a monopoly because I crushed my competition. But the thing is, the problem with having a monopoly is if you're not careful, you're not going to excel and you're not going to, you're not going to, you're going to stop. Having competition is a great thing. And just to say this, when I was doing Rapzilla, everybody was like, well, why can't we just have all the websites unite for one website? And I was looking at them like, why? Like, no, because the thing is when you have competition, it literally pushes you to do better. If Apple didn't have Microsoft, Apple would never be where it's at today. Like, and right now, what's going on is Rabs has a monopoly. And by the way, if you're a businessman and you've done a, a monopoly, you are a good businessman. You know, I don't care if you if if you, but right now the problem I'm seeing is Rabzilla is is crushing it and is all alone. And the problem is I feel like the, I feel like there there's they don't have anyone worth competing against. And I want to help the competition, not to crush Rabzilla. But to help the genre, because if I can help you guys do better, all of a sudden, each body, everyone has a specific purpose. Everybody is going to literally reach someone different. And if we can reach somebody different, um, we can actually move forward with this genre. So I think that's very interesting to see what he said. And I really want to kind of break those things down and kind of really talk about it. Because, hey, I feel like Christian hip hop is at a time right now where we really need to open up this conversation so if you don't know philip rudd and i'm i, I pray i'm saying his last name not right is 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 rudd he founded rapzilla back in 2003 he sold it two years ago and now he's doing something else but he put out a tweet and said hey look i want to help all the other creators who are in christian pop to optimize your site so that way you can grow and that way can push the narrative forward. So one thing he said that Rapzilla right now is a monopoly. Do I agree that Rapzilla is a monopoly? I actually do. Because when it comes to Christian hip hop, that is the only site that you really think about when it comes to submitting your stuff, when it comes to exposure, even when it comes to brand recognition. Rapzilla and Christian Hip Hop is the go-to when it comes to Christian Hip Hop. The first site I started looking at in 2012 was Rapzilla. And then I found it Track Stars, I found a DJ Wade O, I found uh Jam the Hype, and then I found a new H2O maybe two years ago. But I've been finding different websites. So do I think that Rapzilla is a monopoly? As of right now, yes. I think that all the other sites and blogs that do cover hip Christian hip hop. It's kind of second nature. Like new uh, track stars does a really good job at what their platform, but I don't see. I mean, I, track stars what it is. Uh, Gem the hype. I kind of think that took a step back. I, I don't see them really putting stuff out consistently. I think they're more so in the block space. And I think that when it comes to even like these smaller sites, if if it's hit or miss, if you're not on Rapzilla, you're not pretty much anything else. The most hype list of anything is the rapzilla freshman list and if you put on rapzilla it's it's a, it's a known brand but do i think that also do i think that rapzilla has uh anybody to compete with yes i actually do 
I think that Brazilla has to compete with the YouTubers who are commentating, who are engaging, and who are getting to the people way before Rapzilla even have a chance to put out the video. Uh, people like the Crew Hip Hop Corner, people like David Livick, uh, people like myself. There's a lot of other people that's getting on the Christian hip hop way and, and the commentary on our side and really expanding news and giving our opinion about it. Do I think that 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 is a monopoly? I, I do think that. Do I think that he, Phil also said competition? He mentioned that competition is healthy. Do I think that we need competition in Christian hip hop? I, I think that healthy competition. I think that you can have healthy competition. I think the problem comes in when you don't want to get better but you want to see the other per person demise because i feel like the problem when it comes to christian hip hop is like you got one source it's like a pyramid it's rapzilla then everybody else is kind of like this way instead of everybody be like okay we got rapzilla okay we got this way we got that way and they all bring something to the culture if you think about mainstream hip-hop they have the source they have double xl they have hip-hop dx uh they have um uh multiple other sites that i'm thinking of right now uh but you have a uh, world star hip-hop you have multiple different outlets and then talk shows you got the breakfast club you got uh everyday struggle you have uh for the culture with joe budden you have so many different outlets that people can go to Th think of this way when soldier boy went on that media rant you know he went to the breakfast club he went to 97 hot 97 and he also went to everyday struggle those are three platforms in the new york area that cover hip-hop heavily if if somebody wants to do a press run it's usually five total things you do rapzilla you dj wait uh you may do track stars um you may do like um new release today and then that's pretty much it you know what i'm saying four to five maybe so so what do I think? I think that Phil brings some interesting points. Uh, he also said that he was going to reach out to to these Christian hip hop blogs, these makers, call them, have ten minute conversations. I reached out to him and have not heard from him at all. Uh, I reached out to another YouTuber, Play It Louder. Shout out to Play It Louder that did not hear anything back from him. So I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to see if he just if Phil is trying to do bigger uh christian hip-hop blogs I, I don't know i don't know his criteria but please do not put that out there like yo i want to help out the smaller creators to kind of make this thing forward and then when you get a flood of people and then it's like well i'm selective be selective first you know say these are the criterias so that way you know people like me or a smaller channel or maybe a mid-sized channel can actually be able to have a real chance but that's just my opinion I need to know what you think, man. I think it's very interesting. Wednesday and Friday, this is just going to be me breaking down what Phil said and also different points. So this week, I'm just going to cover it. It's, it's crazy what happened Chris, Christian Pop. So my Rapzilla Freshman List Breakdown is coming back next week. And also my What Happened series coming back next week as well. So again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray, I'm back with another CHH today. And guys, Phil... Philip got CHH on fire right now. There's a lot of people that are saying they believe or they don't believe. But hey, I want you to decide what you think. Until next time, people.